Hey there guys, so there's something going on in the news, and yes, this is the first video with my face in it, that uh, at t has bought from the European version of T-Mobile for at t USA to buy T-Mobile USA to combine the GSM networks. So what I'm going to flash on the screen right now is the is some mock-ups of what the symbol should look like. So say they're blue but they'll change it to pink and it'll be still the same little like circle. And so basically this should take about maybe a year or two to combine their actual uh, networks to make them better than Verizon or Sprint since they both have their 4G networks they can combine to really help to make better phones and since HTC was the first one to have uh, Android they should really back up these companies and they have so many so much backup of how many customers they have and how reliable they are T-Mobile is known for their amazing US customer call line and they can help T-Mobile with how uh, the 4G networks are, how strong they are, their satellite, all the spotty areas, it'll just be better. And so, the deal with today is that it's going to have 31 million subscribers. It'll be $39 billion for of AT&T buying all of T-Mobile USA. And so here's the deal with their network speed. AT&T works on HSBA Plus, but will work up to a stronger version of that. And AT&T has their uh, LTE co network coming out, coming from like the Inspire 4G, Aspire 4G, and the Atrix 4G. AT&T is claiming that significantly expand the LTE network to 95% of Americans, which is almost all of AT&T, pretty much. And so basically, AT&T and T-Mobile will be covering 130 million Americans, which is a lot. And so that's all the news I have for today. It was just a little mock-up of showing myself in the video for once. And um, maybe you guys like this more instead of me being on the floor or unboxing something every time. And so I can just update you guys. I know that there's a lot of uh, guys that uh, do this already and there's like some like that have like only like, 10,000 subscribers and like and some like John for Lakers and then there's just like some that are just very very sketchy but like you know it's like okay you do a good job but okay you don't and um so this is just my version of doing it I'm kind of nervous not to get a lot here um how, how do these people do this and not run out of breath it's ridiculous. I don't even know if I'm in focus. They probably tired the entire video. I'm out of focus. If I'm not out of focus, then I'll take the audio and then match it up to a, a slideshow of videos. I have like a little mirror over there that's reflecting to the back of the LCD since it doesn't flip over like the Nikon D60 or 60D. So now that the news has been Broadcast is kind of like a vlog style, if you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, that's all I really had to say. I'm surprisingly really, really close to the camera, so I have this, like, wide angle lens on it. I have a Nikon uh, D3000 3100. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's all the news I have for today. And you can see I'm a Windows user, no Macs. Except for my iPad, which I have in the clam case, like like you guys know. And um, that's all the news I had for today. See you guys. Did I say AT&T? Or did I say T-Mobile to T-Mobile?